Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing safe. So this is the Realme GT Neo 5. This is, in typical Realme fashion, a very good value mid-ranger that punches way above its price class. In fact, it's probably not even accurate to call it a mid-ranger because this phone comes with a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, which was a tip-top premium flagship chip just like, you know, like six, seven months ago. It retails for 3,199 yuan in China, which comes out to around 4,600 US dollars. As you can see, it's a relatively good looking phone with a 6.7 inch OLED display that I think a lot of you guys are gonna like. But that's not the main selling point of this phone. This phone currently right now has the fastest charging in the world at 240 watt and the charging brick is included. So what I'm gonna do in this video today is do a real time charging test. So as you can see, my phone right now is down to 2% battery. I'm gonna plug in the phone, start the timer here, just talk a little bit more on camera and wait like, I don't know, three, four, five minutes and we'll see what the battery percentage is at. I'm gonna try to do this at the exact same time. I'm gonna start the timer while I plug in this 240 watt Super Vuke charging brick into this outlet right here. So I'm gonna plug in and hit start. Okay, so the timer has started. You see it is charging Super Vuke. And you'll see the back, it has this really cool design that lights up when the phone is being charged. So as I mentioned, you have mostly components that would be considered flagship just like six, seven months ago. You have a 6.742 inch AMOLED display, resolution of 1240 by 2772. You have stereo speakers. <laughs> Software is Android 13 with color OS on top. And if you guys see my videos, you guys should know that I actually quite like color OS. It's very customizable and animations are very fluid. This is a 120 hertz. You have either eight or 16 gigs of RAM in the phone, but it is only UFS 3.1 storage. So not the latest UFS 4.0. You have a 4,600 million hour battery in here. So keep that in mind as we see the charging percentage later. And around the back, you have a triple camera system, but as usual, I would just call it a dual camera system because you have a 50 megapixel main camera with a decent one over 1.5 inch image sensor, an eight megapixel ultra wide, and then a two megapixel microscope camera that is useless. So just look at this as a main and ultra wide camera. Around the front, you have a selfie camera, of course, in a small hole punch. The phone feels good in the hand overall. It's a flat panel, which I think a lot of you guys like, and it weighs under 200 grams at 199 grams, so it's pretty easy to hold. And the back curves a little bit on the left and right side, so it fits into your palm. This is, I wanna say plastic. I'm not sure, Liz, I think it's plastic, but it has a matte coating to it. That feels pretty nice. For 460 bucks, you could do a lot worse. This is definitely a better device than, you know, a lot of the mid-rangers that you get in North America. So I guess a lot of you guys are wondering, 240 watt charging, is that safe? That seems so crazy fast. I mean, I gotta admit, it does seem a little bit like scary fast to me, but we have to remember that Realme, it's a sub-brand of Oppo. And Oppo, it's one of the pioneers, if not the pioneer of fast charging technology. In fact, I actually visited Oppo's headquarters about like five years ago and interviewed the dude who invented the tech. He's a really nice and assuming man, but he invented the technology behind Super Vuk fast charging. So his philosophy was different from what everybody else was doing at the time. Everybody else was prioritizing current over voltage, where well, he was prioritizing voltage over current. So that that's where he zigged, where everybody zagged. And that's how Oppo was able to stay on top of the fast charging game. You know, Oppo's fast charging tech has been used in OnePlus phones since the OnePlus 3, I believe. So that's like seven, eight years now. And it's been used in Oppo phones for even longer than that. And so far, we have never heard any scary stories, right? We haven't heard on Twitter or Reddit that someone was using an Oppo phone or OnePlus phone and the battery burst or the charging, you know, caught fire or something. So we know so far, going from like seven, eight years of history now, that Super Vuk charging has been relatively safe. And it hasn't really degraded battery that badly because we still have people using OnePlus 7 Pro right now or OnePlus 8, and the phones are still keeping charge relatively fine, right? I So I wouldn't worry too much, and Realme did promise that the phone is good for about four years of charging. So unless you plan on using this phone for like five, six, seven years, I don't think you have to worry. So anyway, let's check battery now. We have just crossed the five minute mark. It's five minute and five seconds right now. And uh, we are at 63% charge. I mean, 
63%, 64% battery now. So did you see how crazy that was? The phone went from 2% to 64% in five minutes, just in the time it took for me to talk in this video. So right now it's just past five and a half minutes. Let's wait till it gets to six minutes. Let's just get a final uh, percentage. So we have like 70 more seconds to go. I guess I have to kill time. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It would help me a lot. So we have nine seconds to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm plugged. So it's been plugged in for exactly six minutes and the battery is at 72%. So it went from 2% to 72% in five minutes. That's a 70% charge. And the phone is actually not that hot. See, I can like put it to my face and it's fine. It's warm, but it's not like uncomfortably hot. I would not be able to do this with like a, with some other phone, like a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 phone that's been playing games, right? It would be too hot to put it to my face, but this is fine. So anyway, that's all for this video. This is the Realme GT Neo 5. And um, even if you think this fast charging is gimmicky, I'm just glad something like this exists because like, I'll, I'll be honest, yeah, you don't need to charge at the speed normally, but there are times when it's an emergency. Let's say you need to get on an airplane soon and you realize, oh, you, you forgot to charge your phone, it's at like 6%. Then you can quickly plug it in at the airport gate for like five minutes and you know you're good to go for the rest of the flight. So, you know, there are a lot of situations like that where it will come in handy. So that's about it for this video. This is the Realme GT Neo 5 with that crazy 240 watt fast charging. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.